Why, hello everyone, and welcome! <laughs> It'll take a little practice getting the timing of that down, but I'm so glad I know about that move now. Anyway, welcome to Playframe. Welcome to Pokémon Sword. We are gonna... deal with this, I guess. Oh, I just handed over that bike already! We need it to cross this long bridge! We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. <laughs> Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I'd be in your debt. I'll do it. Hopefully. I mean, I have kind of a new team all thrown in here, but we'll find out. Oh, we're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after gym challengers and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm going to crush you in battle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Team yell. Really hope that my substitute lineup is up to this. It probably is. <laughs> Goat Skishy. I don't think you're the right one for this task, but... Uh, okay, yes. Let me see here. I swapped in Skishy, Magnus, Draconth, Cupcake Meep, Mirrodin, and Katerp. And Mirrodin's level 1, so we need to give this one some candy. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, do we have any fight moves? We don't have any fight moves. Our move coverage right now is kind of abysmal. <laughs> That's alright, though. We'll figure something out. Uh... Yeah, this actually isn't great. <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll make it work. Uh, hit it with Raids of Leaf. Stop it. Just trying to get a different variety leveled out here, you know? That was a nice little tackle animation. I like it. We're gonna get ourselves to that town, though, darn it. And maybe on a bike, from the look of things. Hey. Stop it. Razor Leaf! Get out of here. Go down. You can do it, Skishy. I believe. You can do it. You tiny little fruit. With tiny little legs. <laughs> look at your tiny legs. Finish it. You can do it! And... Yes! Okay, alright, good. That's one down. <laughs> Congratulations, Meriden. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to cough and laugh. Uh, that's seven levels for you. <laughs> and one for Skitchy. Congratulations, Meriden. You are considerably stronger. But, uh, you need some more of that, though. You won't learn any move moves? Actually, you got some moves. A thievel. What's a thievel? We do need to switch, though. Um... Magnus, you want to get out there? I mean, you're steel, so if it's a normal type, it won't hurt you much, I don't think. Give it a shot. Do it! What is this? Whoa! Hey, that's what Padfoot will turn into. Oh, it's got a little mustache. <laughs> that's very cute. I think it's dark type, though. So this... I don't know if... Dark might actually be weak to steel. No, it's not. We're okay. <laughs> Had to check, though. So, all right. Hone Claws isn't going to do much for me. Maybe Metal Claw, though? I don't know how steel does against dark. Let's find out together. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty strong. The mustache is very good, though. Eh, it's all right. But if we leave you in, you're going to die, and that's no good. Um, okay, let me see what matches up well against Dark. Fighting Bug and Fairy. Oh, well then, Cupcake Meep. Today is your day. Hopefully. Get your cute little self out there. Yes. We're going to survive this fight. It's a challenge all of a sudden. Because <laughs> I'm so suboptimally uh, party grouped here. The user steals target HP with a kiss. The user's HP is restored by over half the damage taken. Cool. Do it. 
Uh, can't get over that mustache and the wink. The wink is also very good. <laughs> uh, don't ever let anyone tell you that Pokemon has bad animation in it. It could be better. It could be a lot better, but there's actually a lot of good stuff in this. Like, it actually, like, I was recording some random footage for a thing I needed for, like, uh, the latest Fire Emblem, and it actually shocked me looking at, like, comparing the just the basic animation quality in that to this. Like, Pokemon's is way better <laughs> than Fire Emblem's animation. It actually surprised me. Like, I like Fire Emblem a lot, but, uh, like, I, I was surprised, too, <laughs> going back and looking at it. Anyway, bit of a tangent. We're in the middle of cuting the heck out of this TV Fox. Uh, Padfoot, I look forward to you growing your own mustache someday. With your own little mask and everything. These designs are amazing. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations times four or five, Mirden. We are still gonna give you some candy, though. Got a little ways to go. Yay! I live! What team, y'all? We get up in the faces of trainers. I'm very much enjoying Team Yell. Conceptually. Gah, you crushed my attempt to crush you. Why, you- I want that bike! Don't get in my way! Oh, that's maybe not good for me. Okay, we can hang in there. We can do this. Sableye. What are you? Psychic? Ghost? What are you? I'm gonna say ghost. I'm gonna guess ghost. Um... Okay, weak to other ghosts and dark moves. All right, uh, so let's look at my lineup here. Oh boy, I hope this is a ghost. Uh, all right, Magnus could do something with Hone Claws. Uh, and... Hmm, no. Steel type is strong against a lot of stuff, but not ghosts. Uh, let's see. Cupcake Meep, I don't know what... Fake Tears actually does damage. Um, yeah, I feel like Magnus might be our ticket here, but I need to get him healed up a little bit, so... Uh, I'm trying to see what resists Ghost, and not much does. Dark kind of does, but we don't have a Dark type out here right now. All right, Skitchy, tank one hit for me, okay? We are going to try healing our uh, Magnus. This is why I should be equipping parries on everybody, but... <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, that doesn't tell me what kind of Pokemon this is. Whatever. Yeah, I think the house rules I'm going to adopt. Like, I already said we were going to, like, bench a uh, Pokemon that get fainted uh, temporarily. I'm thinking maybe just for the rest of the recording session. So, like, if a Pokemon goes down for the rest of the week, they're out. Whew, okay, all right. All right. Let's see if I... Ah, my dark move is Hone Claws. That's not... That's not what I need right now. Well, let's see if Steel does okay. Uh, maybe. It does all right. Oh, uh, well, that was a critical hit. Um, so it's not great. But maybe we can survive this. So yeah. That'll be the temporary rule. Hey! Was that another crit? No, it wasn't. But, um... Aw, but I need that move. To win. Uh, so, okay. How does a normal attack do? And this is a very normal attack. <laughs> do against a Sableye. Doesn't affect. Okay, this is a ghost. We're fighting ghosts! Ghost busting, as it were. So this is disabled now, and I can't use it. For how long? Is it just like the next move or the rest of the fight? Let's test this. Oh, it's disabled. Okay, so I can't. Fine. Let's see. Um, who wants to finish this? <laughs> no, Dracons, you can't go in and finish this with your splash and tackle. Even though you are the highest... No, you're not the highest level. Cupcake Meep is. You know what, Meep? I believe in you. You can do it. Good fighting, Magnus. You'd have had it if it weren't for that dang disable. All right. Doing fine, doing fine. And, okay, aromatherapy. Heals all status conditions affecting the user's party. Ooh. 
Does that include disable? I don't know if disable counts as a status condition. I'm not going to use it right now. Comments. Let me know if that would have worked, though, because that's that would have been pretty cool if it did. Uh, draining kiss. I might do that. Fake tears. Uh, harshly lower special defense and round. User attacks target with song. Others can join in the round to increase the power of the attack. That's intriguing. Let me try that first. Oh, wait, it's a normal move. It's not going to do anything. What am I thinking? <laughs> Clearly, I'm not. Okay, yeah, you can you can disable that if you like. <laughs> not like it was doing a whole lot anyway. Have a nice little smooch. And give me your health. Whoa, dang. Super effective, is it? Ha ha! Meep! You champion! We live! And no one died. <laughs> Hooray! Wow. Levels all around. Skishy. And Magnus. And Mirrodin a couple times. Or just once, actually. And Critter. Ah. Go team. We live. I was too distracted by that bike. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yellow belly like you. Uh <gasps> My goodness. You're going to level. Skitchy. Well, you're going to evolve, rather. What are you going to turn into, though? Oh, you're that! You were that all along. Skitchy, congratulations. Skitchy the Steeny. <laughs> I love it. Ah, I love seeing his Pokemon grow and evolve. It's the best. All right. As it twirls like a dancer, a sweet smell spreads out around it. Anyone who inhales the scent will feel a surge of happiness. It's already working. You're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're going to cause problems for our lady. If you haven't seen The Last of Us, we're going to make sure you stay out of our lady's way. I like this team. Can I have your bike? <laughs> My lord, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex, too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic. I think I'll give this bike to you, then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Yes. Now you know that Rotom loves motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that got me thinking. If I attach a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into that as well. Right. <laughs> Come on, now. Give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop, chop. Come on, now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. I'm trying. Just give me the... Thank you. I can't do it until you you put the Rotom bike in your bag's key items pocket. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press either of those to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. Well, heck, let's do it. <gasps> Look at my bike and my biking uniform. I'd have to change it to my biking uniform if I'm going to bike. This is great. Whoa, and I can turbo. This is great. Ha. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get around the world so much faster now. How often can I do the... Oh, there we go. Okay, it has to recharge, and then I can zoom. Oh, that's great. We have a bike, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank you for the bike, by the way. I should say thanks. Oh. Well, yes, but thank you and good. Uh, sparkly? Swift Feather, eh? An item for use on a Pokemon. It slightly increases the speed base points of a single Pokemon. Cool. Okay. Hey, what a nice view out there. Is that another wild area? Are there more than one wild area? Oh, Genius Feather, an item for use on a Pokemon, slightly increases the special attack base points. Nice. That's a pretty big space. Or maybe this is the same wild area, and this is that bridge that, yeah, okay, this is that bridge that stretches over, and you can run under it in the wild area, and this is just more wild area. Things huger than I, uh, than I thought. Hello there. The big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there, too. Oh, cool. Later, I guess. Yay, bikes. Ah. Hop, buddy. There you are, Danny. I'm warning you, though. Any closer than that, we're going to have to have a battle, you and me. I really appreciate that warning, Hop, actually, because I was not ready. <laughs> I was actually being pretty amateur hour over here, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see. Let's... Hmm. You know, I will keep my team. This is the team that I equip myself with, and by gosh, I will stick to that <laughs> not entirely thought all the way through decision. We are going to uh, get Mirrodin up to snuff, though. Uh, boom. Look at the levels go! Zip, 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 zip. Yes. 
this is how I got everybody up to up to snuff, <laughs> by the way, over the weekend. Ah, that's much better. Okay. Now we're all feeling a little bit better here. Now, you know, rather than wasting a potion, let me just ride back and get everyone healed up. And then we'll come back here and uh, interact with our little hop friend. Right back. Man, this bike is a game changer. I love it. Oh, hey, I didn't talk to you before. What's the problem with those Team Yell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. Uh, listen, I don't understand it either, but they're enthusiastic about Marnie, and just about everyone should be enthusiastic about Marnie. She seems pretty great. Now then, Hop, you and I have a battle to do. I warned you, we're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is the perfect training. It is. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. You know, Hop, you still haven't got another Pokemon, which is disappointing. But you know what? I've been dealing with you all wrong. Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holder's team can do. Indeed. Uh, I've been a bit too harsh on you, boy. Because yes, your brother may have more talent. No, you may not be exceptionally good at this right now. However, the determination to keep going is ultimately a better power in this world than talent any day. So I've decided I'm going to whip you into shape. I'm going to make you into a trainer to rival your brother. And the way I'm going to do that is to continue beating up your Pokemon until you get good and taking your money. I do still have to make a living out here. All right, so what do we want to fight with a, a Wooloo with? Um, still don't have any fighting moves on me because again, not the most optimal. <laughs> Move set loaded out here today, but that's fine. Magnus can tank the hits. Get out there, Magnus. Hey, that thing learned a double kick. Oh, and fighting moves I think are good against steel. Hey, wow, Hop. I've learned loads from studying Lee's battles. Good on you, bud, actually. You're, uh, getting better in front of our eyes right now. And I also just picked a very bad Pokemon, so this is actually my mistake. Uh, it's probably still going to keep hitting me with that, so... Yeah, let's save Magnus' health for a better occasion. Um, hmm. Well, it has double kick, so definitely don't throw a normal one in front of it. Uh... Hmm. Meep, you want to take a crack at this? Do your thing! Oh, look at this fluffy matchup. It's the softest battle you've ever seen. Okay, uh, let's try a round this time. Go! And... Not bad. Not too bad. And not terribly effective. Now let's see how... No, wait. Not what I meant to do. Let's see how Draining Kiss does. I'm quite curious about how that does against a normal type. It's not super effective or anything. I just want to see... Pretty good results. Pretty good. You chose this battle on a good day, Hop. I don't actually have Raz with me. So your Kryptonite is no longer present. We're gonna have ourselves an actual matchup. Hey, look at you! You know, Hop, you're already impressing me. Turns out all I had to do was believe in you, half as much as you've been believing in me this entire time. That's a good lesson for us all, I think. Have a little smooch. And get your health drained. Hope you don't have any more of those potions, or this is just going to turn into a real time tax, buddy. Okay, uh, I'm going to save the draining kisses for future matchups. Because if I'm remembering right, you've got a Rookie D and your Grookey. 
which might have evolved at this point, actually. Hey, congrats, Meep and Magnus, the both of you. String shot, eh? That could be an interesting one. Um, I don't know if I want to lose any of my current moves, though. Uh... Harshly lower speed stat versus harshly lower special defense. That's a kind of tough pick, actually. I'm going to stick with special defense on account of, like, that's what, uh, a, a, like, special attack seems to be what, uh, Cupcake's skills are all about. So, yeah, yeah, I, I will, uh, not take string shot, but I'm so glad that you can actually go and manually, like, grab these moves again later if you want them in the Pokemon Center. That's, there's so much they've added to Gen 8, or at least since Gen 1, <laughs> that, uh, I really love. Like, it just gets a lot of the tedious, kind of obnoxious uh, stuff out of the way, so you can just have yourself a good time playing Pokemon. Hey, look who's got a leveled up Pokemon and everything. Uh, let's switch, because I think this is going to be Mirden's time to shine. What with the nuzzle and such. Get in there, Mirden. <laughs> Precious. All right. This ought to be a pretty good matchup here. Get nuzzled. Get nuzzled. Yes. Be paralyzed. Come on. Typical. Should have known you'd master type matchups. I'm not great at them, but I'm learning a thing or two. Also, I have a cheat sheet. I highly advise a cheat sheet. Hop in the future. It's served me well thus far. Um, I guess I could keep nuzzling, but it's not a really strong move. Acid has like twice as much attack power. Let's see how that compares. Even though it's not a super effective type matchup. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> Look at that tantrum. Uh, yeah, let's keep doing that. That seems to be doing fine. I think I can outpace you on the damage, hopefully. Maybe. Ugh. Pretty strong bird you got there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to swap here. Uh, let's see. Magnus, your steel type, and I don't know how flying type moves do against steel. It's probably just regularly effective, which is fine. Uh, But I don't have anything else that's going to be super useful, so let's try it. Just in case steel resists flying attacks as much as it does normal attacks. I mean, I wouldn't think most birds would be super effective against steel, but... Hey, alright! <laughs> uh, intuition wins the day again. Get clawed. Having a kind of suboptimal matchup, like a suboptimal team, like comp, uh, does make for some fun actual strategizing. Though it's fun having to actually like uh, <laughs> take battles a little bit seriously here and there. A good reason not to get yourself over leveled. Yay levels! Speaking of, <laughs> hey Drakons, level twenty. And Mirrodin level 19. You've grown quickly. <laughs> From eating all that candy, you see. Thwacky. Ooh. The Grookey evolution. Do we have anything good against grass? I don't actually know if we do. Ah, I stand corrected. Poison is good against grass. However, Mirrodin needs health. So, I need someone to tank a hit temporarily. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Water is weak against grass. Can't have that. What's going to be strong against grass? Or what's going to be able to withstand grass pretty well? Uh. I mean, nothing's super effective against normal. Critter. Think I can hang in there? Withstand one hit. It's probably a little bit of a level difference here, so. 
It's not a sure thing, but I believe every one of my Pokemon's an ace. There's no problem at all. They are getting stronger, I will give you that. Oh, look at them. Two sticks now. <laughs> Twice the little grass monkey Pokemon it once was. All right, uh, let's see. As long as we're like, no, that's right. We were gonna heal up our other <laughs> Pokemon. I almost forgot. Uh, amateur hour over here. There we go. Use that potion. All right, good. Although that's gonna lower my defense or attack, I forget. Defense, oh boy. Uh, all right, let's see. How is our Mirrodin's looking pretty good? Just, hmm. So we could use a potion to give Mirrodin a little bit of extra health, but let's see what sort of moves uh, lowers accuracy. Uh, lower speed. Hmm. Although I think ground is maybe not super great against grass. I would guess it's not. I am correct. <laughs> ground is not very good against grass type. Uh, okay, so no, let's, uh, let's top off. Let's top off our, uh, mirrored in here to give ourselves optimal chances. Okay. Oh, you know, round, huh? Strong hit. Strong hit. Okay. Mirrodin, today's your day. Like, the super optimal way to go about this, probably, if I wasn't playing with Nuzlite House Rules, would just be to just let Critter faint so I could, like, not lose a turn swapping out. But, uh, don't want him fainting on me. Stronger hit than I expected. <laughs> don't love that critical hit business. Um, shoot. All right. What the heck? It's a special occasion. Get healed up over there. And hopefully we won't get critted again. That's better. Double hit A. It's a pretty strong little, uh... It's not a Grookey anymore. It's, a uh, Thwacky, yes. All right. Yeah. Man, putting up a good fight. Um... I don't know that's how this is gonna do, but Meep... Give it a shot. Have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps on get growing stronger. Razor Leaf. Pretty strong it's hit, actually, even though it's not a, uh, like, type matchup. Uh, okay. Let's do a draining kiss and see how it go. It's been pretty effective a lot of these times. Hey, good job, Meep. Decent? Eh, could be better, but good way to keep on recovering. Maybe we can outlast. It's another double hit. Fairly strong, but survivable. A crit on that would be pretty rough, though. Outlast. Good. Yes. Be obnoxious to fight. <laughs> we can't go losing to Hop. That would be just a little bit too embarrassing at this point. We gotta whip him into shape and then lose to him, maybe. Maybe then. But not today. We are going to survive. Poof. Boy. Cupcake MVP of these last several fights. 
We're going to win! Despite everything! <laughs> uh, hooray! Hop, you're starting to put up a strong fight now. I am proud of you, boy. We're gonna whip you into a champion yet. Kurturp and Mirden, congrats. Mirden, you gave it your best. <laughs> Things just did not work out this time. Ah, oh, we both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? Don't tell yourself short, bud. That was much more of a challenge than before. Granted, I didn't have my... Ooh, Draconth. Today might just be your day. I dare say so. Look at you! You're a Gyarados! <laughs> uh, awesome. Gyarados' data. A water flying type. I thought you were a dragon at one point. Maybe that was just like a Gen 1 thing? Or maybe you never were and I just always assumed you were a dragon type at some point. Whatever. You're stronger now. It has an extremely aggressive nature. The hyper beam it shoots from its mouth totally incinerates all targets. <laughs> uh, you've come such a long way from being the little floppy fish. And you learned bite! Ah, we're going to go far. You gotten strong, Danny. Seems I gotta train even harder from now on. Ooh, why thank you. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gen. And there he goes. Ah. He's growing up so fast. Clever feather. An item uh, slightly increases the special defense base points of a single Pokemon. Cool, we're getting a lot of these on this bridge. I'd get back on the bike, but I want to, like, soak it all in. And collect all these dang items. Jeez. A lot of these. Any more little shinies? So many! So many kinds of feathers. Slightly increases attack base points. <laughs> and... Bye. <laughs> That was cute. I guess I could have tried to catch it or something, but... It was just a delightful little sight. Ah, geez, there's more trainers. I need to go and uh, get healed up, I think, before we uh, <laughs> continue this nonsense. Although... I think I want that. Hang on. Nope. Not the button. Uh, let's make sure we're all prepared and stuff. Because I think that's a normal type. It might be flying type as well, but uh, in either case, I think Magnus is fine. I think Magnus should be fine. And just in case, kind of a waste of potions here because we could just go back, but I'm impatient. You come here. Yes. <laughs> Far-fetched. You are to be on my team. Um, I don't think this is a good type matchup. In fact, I'm pretty sure it isn't. But, I don't know. Try hitting it with a Razor Leaf. Get him, Skishy. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> what a leer indeed. Ugh. Boy, the posing and animation on Farfetch'd is quite good. Okay, uh... Mirrodin, this is your time. Get nuzzly. You little electric poison baby. Fury cutter, eh? Not super effective. Rattled? Speed rose? Oh. Well, thanks? <laughs> uh, get nuzzled. Yes. Nice and paralyzed. Stop leering at me. I don't care for it. Let's try acid this time. Don't know how poison does against flying types. Pretty good. Pretty good. And you're paralyzed. And you're going in a ball. So, what should we put you in? Uh... Mm. I should be using these quick balls more often. I got a bunch of them while out in the uh, wild area, and uh, 
yeah, they pretty much almost always succeed, or they seem to, if you just throw them out first turn. Uh, so I should probably be doing that from now on, <laughs> but whatever. A regular Pokeball for you. Now stay. I need your leering attitude on my team. Hey. Awful lot of sass for a paralyzed bird. That's right. Let that be a lesson. Stop leering. Got an attitude problem, Farfetch'd. Spend some time in the ball. To cool off. Stay. Yes! That's what I like to see! Yeah, and we got some levels and such. Which is good, we got a gym to get ready for. And it's water type, so I need to get grass and electric squad ready. I should probably be focusing my team around that right now. Ooh, double kick. Ah, oh, man, that would have been handy <laughs> all episode. And last one some. Uh, yeah. What should we have you forget? Uh, Mud Slap's pretty good. Quick Attack is pretty good. That could be really good. Yeah, that could be really good, right? Or is it? Like, is getting a guaranteed critical hit better than just getting in two regular hits, one of which could be a critical, you don't know? <laughs> I feel like getting just two regular hits in, gar like, guarantees you get in the same amount of damage each turn, probably. Yeah, I'll lose this for now, but let me know if uh, Laser Focus is one worth keeping, and I can get it back. Congratulations, Kerterp, on your new move. All right. You got a new Pokémon. A fighting type. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Okay. The far-fetched of the Galar region are brave warriors, and they wield thick, tough leaks in battle. Oh, so you're like a Galarian variant. Cool. Let's get you a name. Okay, I get the feeling that this particular patron submitted this name with specific intent and inside knowledge. But I can respect that kind of forethought and planning, so we'll go with it. I dub thee Sir Mallard. Welcome to the team. Go to the box. Now then, we are in some need of healing and item recovery, so one moment. Zoom! Wait a minute. I see that. <laughs> the wind just blew it away. That's very good. All right. Zoom, though. What a very good bicycle. Hey, can I catch you? Can I? Can I? I can! Hooray! Eldegoss. I feel like, actually, this is probably... Yeah, no, it's gotta be. I'm actually not even gonna catch this one. I'm just going to battle it, because I think this is what Sunlight's gonna turn into. Like, Goss of Floor to Eldegoss? That makes sense, yeah? That makes sense to me. All right, let's just have a battle, then. Okay, never mind. This thing's just putting all the Pokémon to sleep and being a pain in the butt. Let's just run. Oh, we're asleep. That makes sense. We can't just run. There we go. Okie dokie. Um, boy. Do I even have enough Awakenings for... Ugh. Boy. <laughs> okay, this time forward progress, though. And this time, yes, we will just challenge you. Because I want that item behind you. Work to raise the good points of a Pokemon. Don't don't worry about its bad points. <laughs> good advice. Breeder Denise. What do you got? Let's fight. Cheruby, huh? Aw. Well, that's very cute. Very cute indeed. Um, almost definitely grass type, yes? I should think so. So, like, the only good move we have against a grass type in this current lineup, I believe, is... Yeah. Mirrodin's Poison. And then if I gotta swap to... Magnus to, uh... Tank some hits, I can. It's kind of fun improvising with an almost randomly put together team, though. It adds a little bit of challenge that otherwise would not be there. Because this is a pretty easy game overall. 
as well it should be like it's a game for kids although difficulty modes wouldn't really go amiss i don't think well, that seems like a thing that could like uh benefit pokemon pretty well actually like having some uh harder difficulties for people who actually do want some challenge out of it I could see that being quite a, uh, <laughs> a bit more challenging to implement given the, the sheer quantity of Pokémon there are in this game. Like, uh, having to balance several different difficulties could be quite a lot to, uh, to do, but even so. Uh, Woobat. Let's see, that's Flying Psychic, yes? Well, I can at least, uh, nuzzle it. Uh... So that'll be effective. I don't know about the rest, though. Let's stick with this for now. Get him, Mirden. I can never remember what psychics are weak to. I know I, like, just looked this up. Ouchies. Well, I guess we're, uh, taking you out. I don't want you fainting on me. I might need you for this upcoming gym. At least the thing's paralyzed. Okay, swapping you out. Uh, and let's take this opportunity to research. Right, bug, ghost, and dark. And we do have some ghost moves here, so yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully. It's possible Pumpkin King is also weak to something that uh, this has. Possibly Psychic, actually. Uh, nope, it's fine. Okay, get Shadow Sneaked. Hope this works. Yup, works pretty good. We're gonna make it. You could almost make a pretty fun challenge. And I think it would work especially well for Pokemon Sword Shield. Maybe not, no, no, definitely not the other ones. But since you can keep a whole team leveled in this, uh, fairly easily. You could make a pretty fun challenge, hey, for yourself out of, like, between every gym, you have to, like, randomize what your team is, what your team loadout is. Like, you have to just choose six Pokemon at random out of your, out of your, uh, out of the box and succeed with whatever that loadout is. I'm sure there's some way to make that work as a little challenge. And it really would only work in this one, but still, like, that could be kind of cool. I'm having a good time having to, like, improvise here. Not having a good answer for everything thrown at me. I'll accept that I lost, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. That's for the best. It's Pokemon. We're all here to have a good time. Now. Let's see. Should probably heal up a little bit. Just to make sure we're ready for upcoming battles. That's a little better. There we are. Okay. Yeah, I've got Pumpkin King, Mirden, and Kira and Skishy in here specifically, just so we can get some more levels on these electric and uh and grass type buds. So we've also got Alfie, who's at level 20, and that should be just fine. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help with my work. <laughs> Cute. Office worker Gabrielle. Well, that sounds like you're just working smart, Gabrielle. Crow gunk? Crow gunk. Huh. Well, you seem watery. Which means this should work. Crow gunk. You're a lot to take in. <laughs> ah, all right. So either you're not water, or you're also a different type. Or you're poison. There's a lot of possibilities here. None of them are in Skishy's favor. So, um, let's... Let's, um, get you out of there. Tactical retreat. Um, all right. So you're throwing poison at me. Poison is weak to... I have no idea. Hang on. 
Ground and Psychic, which I think are two things I don't have on me. Yep, we're gonna have to wing it. So what's specifically not weak to poison then? Uh, poison types, obviously. Electric types, no, ground types are also, I think, say, I should just like take this chart and <laughs> print out a big blown up version that can just be in front of me all the time. So that'll be a little bit easier. Uh, rock and ghost types are also pretty good against poison and steel can't get hurt by it at all, really? Magnus. Do your thing. And hope that this is just a poison type and not poison slash something else. <laughs> uh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, hit him with the metal claw. No matter how astonishing it may be. Do it. That's the stuff. Magnus. Magnus. Taking care of business over here. Got anything else? Nope. Great. You're a trainer who's stronger than me in the Pokemon that can do my work. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. All right. Um, someone's poisoned. We need to fix that. Skishy. You shouldn't be poisoned. Stop being that. Thank you. Much better. We gotta get to this dang town. I thought we were a lot closer to this town than we, in fact, are. Wait, unless... We made it to town. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Holbury. Oh, this is nice. It's like a harbor. I dig it. I'm gonna like this place. Music's a little goofy, but we won't hold that against it. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I am going to see you next time. Uh, take care, and... Goodbye. <laughs>